Hi, this is George. In this video, we are going to see about Nifty Calendars Ratio Spread Part 2. So, Part 1 is like description is given in the link below that you can refer for to know about the entire strategy. And in this, we are going to see the advanced part of it. Before getting into the video, please do subscribe to this channel if you are new to this. And please do join the Telegram channel if you are interested. And please do like the video if you finally like it. Uh, it's a good video. Thank you. So let's jump into the video. So this you can see in the part one as well. I have just uh, described like a, uh, what is the strategy on this. So that is like a, as usual, like every strategy in this channel that is being uh, like a, we dis we kind of uh, discuss in this. We kind of enter in the previous Thursday at 9.30 a.m. And we exit on the expiry day at 9.30 a.m. for current week. So this is like a, a capital required is kind of little higher side. So 1.25 lakhs. The reason being this is not a fully hedge strategy. That is like one buy and one sell is not that in this case. Here we buy one lot for both sides and we sell two lots in both sides. So it is like a buy two and sell four. So two lots naked things will be there. So that is the reason. And we are going to buy one lot of 200 strikes uh, away from ATM call and put. And we'll be selling two lots 500 strikes away ATM call and put which is like say suppose if nifty is at 17,000 we buy one lot of 17,200 call and 16,800 put which is 200 strikes away from the current uh, spot price for the current week and we'll be selling two lot of 17,500 call and 16,500 put in the next week so that is how this strategy works so uh, we have seen in the part one or pnl of the first nine months statement we have seen till december how the strategy has performed and now even for the last three months it has performed really good and for only the three months, it has given 13% return and overall year it has given 57% return. So this is a safer bet and you can see like out of the 12 months, only one month it was like in the negative side of 2% and one month it was like 0% return. And many months you can see like 10%, 9%, 7%. So this is a very safe bet which you can try upon. So it's totally up to you again. And uh, you can see like uh, uh, as I always say like uh, the people ask me like uh, is it like only we are going to enter on a thursday and exit on th the other th next thursday and between that are we not going to do any adjustment no matter what the index or big or whatever happens if so then what will be our uh, pnl at that current day or content time so will it be giving a panic for us or how would this that will be so that is the reason i plotted a graph against uh, each day or a kind of in, in, uh, for every day like you can see around time i have not mentioned time yet but overall you can just divide by how many thursdays i mentioned it here and divide by number of trading hours and you can see like in this month there is like almost none of the months you see that our P and L has went in the negative side. This is the only thing where it has went negative, but this is like almost the expiry time. But we will be expiring exiting on Thursday in the morning only around 9 30. So around this trade range, we will be exiting. So this is our zero mark, and we are little lesser than that, way ahead of thousand. So you can see like 12th of January, which is this orange color, is like minus 418 is the loss. Other than that, we are like kind of ending in 3250 profit. So this is actually not something to worry upon. And February month again, you can see end of if you had hold for all the months, you can ended up at ten percent return. But still, if you are if you found that it is little riskier because it has touched even four thousand at some point and it was in three thousand for some time, if you are little hesitant on that, maybe you would have lost. You could have closed that, but it's a four thousand loss. Maybe here you would have lost four thousand, but the rest of the months you have made here 5000 and 6300 minus 4000 maybe you'll be ending at 2300 profit so you're not going to lose anything so if you had the like kind of determination okay my power market might go up or else even if it is goes keep going down if you have some other strategy to counter that so far we have not seen anything going so drastically if even if it is going in our not in our favor so this is what would have happened if you have held down that second February portion you have ended in 1300 profit only so this is how February worked out and March again you can see like one month this grayish line was having some difficulties and that is the only week we have ended in some loss and Thursday morning you can see it has went to loss of maybe around till 5000 but at 930 it was somewhere around 4000 loss and uh, other than that it was like maximum of 2000 loss only would have seen on Monday and Tuesday the rest all the weeks we were in profit only. So this is how the PNL was and also now I'm going to like kind of display on how your weekly position has moved along with the index and VIX. So this I might not be like able to explain everything, but the overall, you can just see the graphs as I'll be explaining and keep moving to the next slides. I'm not be explaining for each week. So you can see like in general, the pattern will be like 
the whenever market is like slowly rising or slowly declining with wicks to be a little range bound you will not have a very big problem or challenging things as market will always reward you in that case but only when there was a sudden dip say here you can see like from one day like thursday evd and uh, tuesday evd and the wednesday when it is opening it as market has from 18 to 50 it has fall down to maybe 1700 or some it till then it has went even to 1700 and because of that big salt so has kind of uh, spiked up from 13 to 15 in this case you can see like your pnl has drastically went down other than that sorry this is pnl and this is index sorry so market index was like 1800 and 100 to 79 200 points dip it was not a very big dip of 500 or so so even 200 points dip but your profit was like from 2500 to it has went to maybe loss or somewhere in the near profit so that is what ha- can will happen if market uh, sl- suddenly fills or else you say here and all like market keeps kind of f- slowly if it is falling means your pnl also will go slowly down it will not be a very deep peak but if it keeps going and if your wicks keeps increasing then yes you will find a sharp decline here you see a sharp decline and your pnl also has correspondingly went a sharp decline so that is how it is and this is kind of the best case scenario where market is slowly inching up and your wicks is slowly going down in that case your pnl will be keep going up so this is one of the best case scenario and other than that you can see like when our market is like kind of going up we always see wicks going down so premium will be later cooled off and as we have more sell side so we will be ending in profit obviously but whenever market is going down that is when the time when wicks will go up that is the time when we may end up in losing but if market is well within the range and if your wix is also well within the range we are safe in that case as well and our worst case scenario was i think it was on the 16th march where market was like kind of falling from 17 700 maybe to 17000 so almost 700 points every day you can see some sharp sharp declines that is the time when there was um, again sharp declines in your pnl as well so in those cases we can see like uh, we have ended in uh, some loss so that's what i have mentioned here as well and also there was one if you would have seen the chart there was one observation that we are seeing kind of in many of these uh, part two videos that uh, if we exit on these strategies in many weeks if you are uh, ending the position by tuesday evd or start of the day or media, middle of the day anywhere it, it is like kind of i would say safer bet than thursday it is i would not say it is a very good return than thursday but in terms of yes number of days you are holding from thursday to tuesday and be holding only maybe three days in that three days you are getting a good profit than if you are holding more, two more days maybe profit for per lot maybe 2000 or it might like from say suppose if you are ending on thursday and 3000 you might get 2000 on tuesday itself so other, again in the next two days if there is a sharp leak and then you might end up in a bigger loss maybe but if you are going to close that and if we feel learn some new strategy that can have that we can open on maybe tuesday evd and close on maybe thursday middle of the day or evd or opening of the day if we find some strategy to get some return then maybe yes we can close these strategies on a tuesday then on a thursday and we can adopt to a new strategy so that uh, we can keep utilizing the capital and we can keep rotating the strategies as well so as i said when market falls down significantly in a fast pace with increase in mix then we end in a losing side whereas if market goes up or goes down in a much slower pace then we always end in profit provided which wix is in a very smaller range it should not go so much up or so much down in either case the premium will either shoot up or so much decline which would be like not a good thing for a option seller as we are having more sales area than on a buy side so as i say already said like 9 february was the best case scenario and 16th march was the worst case scenario due to the very same reason so i uh, hope you would have uh, like this video and uh, more to see in the next video thank you